Hello, my name's Carly and I'm a small rodent sitter specializing in hamster and gerbil sitting. Most people think these animals don't need a lot of space, but it's just not true. They are wild animals at heart. How would you feel if someone left you in a cage all day with a bunch of tubes and mazes? Most of my clients are homosexuals or swingers. I believe that correlation does not imply causation, so I prefer not to find a relationship between the two. We're all humans. I've done group sittings before at the swingers parties. That's how I knew they were swingers. Um, it's just like having somebody at your home babysitting your children while you're having a party. I just watch the little gerbils and the hamsters just so cute. <laughs> I keep hay stocked as a treat every time I have a job. The gerbils really like it. Um, the hamsters, not so much. They're kind of assholes. But um, the hamsters actually prefer carrots instead, so I bring carrots for when they're not being mean. It's fun taking them for walks. They've got really cute little tiny harnesses and leashes and collars and they're they're just so tiny. It's they're little bitty and you just put them on their little necks and it it makes walking them a lot easier. But because they're wild animals, I still let them off the leash. And when you do that, um, and even with the leash on, they can get into some really tight spaces and just any little hole they can get in. If they have a leash on, you can just pull them right out of the hole. <laughs> Is he in there? Is he in there? Nope. Nope, not in there. Um, if they don't though, it, that's a little harder. You have to kind of like coax them out and they they really like just digging in those holes. Um, one time I saw a man get his gerbil out with duct tape and I knew duct tape was for emergencies. I just had never seen it used in that way. Um, and when his, when his little guy came out of there, he was dirty. He was filthy, muddy, and that just happens sometimes when they get in those little spaces, um, which is why it's important to keep a leash on. Sometimes you just pull them right out and they're still filthy and muddy and the, the dirt just and the mud just trails them. It's really, it's, it's really cute. I guess you could say when they do things like that, they're just, they're just going back to nature. They're just going back to what they know best, digging and just pawing their way through little small holes. I'm sorry, what? Do I like snakes? No, they're the, the snakes are the known enemy of small rodents. They look to me for protection. I am their protector. They look to me to keep them out of the wrong hands and let them just be the cute little adorable animals that they are. It's really peaceful to watch your hamster or gerbil play in the backyard. I think everyone should enjoy that at some point in life. I'd try anything once.